Hello everybody, this is Sky Lakara here, aka Sundance Wolf, bringing to you a little tutorial video. Um, I met uh, Termit today on preview. Shout out to you, Termit. Thanks for the sub, thanks for the support. And uh, he requested me teach the song Blue. And here we go. I'll just uh, play a little bit of it and then kind of go over it. Um, I'm running off script. I don't usually edit my videos because honestly, I just, <laughs> one, don't have time, and two, gonna just admit that I'm not really sure how to use the program I have right now and uh, one of these days I hope to kind of sit down and actually figure it out but until then I'm running off script so forgive me if uh, I sound a little funny sometimes um, all right here we go <laughs> Okay, so that was the intro to Blue plus the, the uh, main chorus to Blue. Um, the melody is kind of simple, so I figured I'd just start with that. So the original um, is not in this key. I changed the key because it's much simpler to do it in Neverwinter um, with a D minor key instead of whatever the key it is, um, uh, the actual original. Because with the, halfing, the way this, the devs set this up, Sharps and flats do not have individual keys in the keyboard. We have to actually use the up and down arrow keys. And that can get a little complicated, especially when you're trying to do chords. So like here's a C chord, for example, uh, D minor chord. I don't have to hit any of the up and down arrows. Uh, same with an E minor. Actually, yeah. And then, so that, the F key um, is a major chord that I just played there. So in order to do a minor key on that, I have to hit the um, up arrow to, you know, change a sharp there. But if I do that, it changes the entire chord <laughs> instead of just one note. So that's why I've chosen to make this key in a simpler key where I'm only hitting the up arrow key once on the six. There we go. So that's there. I'm just going to call it six sharp just to keep things easier for you non-music people. Um, music people, obviously, it's a it's a B flat, or you know, if you're going in the reverse, it's an A sharp. Um, that is that key there. So we're starting on the three key. So I'm blue, I'm blue, and then da ba dee da ba da. So you start with um, your three, and what I do with the intro is the intro actually goes down a little bit. So to do that low key. Um, because we are limited also with the keys. Octaves have, don't have individual notes. You have to hit this left or right arrow key to go up or down. So just to demonstrate, this is a, uh, a low six, AKA A, and then the regular, and then the up arrow, uh, not the up arrow, sorry, the right key arrow to uh, make it a high, high note. So, so knowing that, your only complicated moves in this particular song is going to know your left arrow for that low six and your up arrow for that six sharp. So once you know that, the rest of it's pretty simple. I don't ever hit the seven or eight key in the song. I think I hit the one key like once or twice. Um, so it's pretty, pretty simple once you get the notes down. I have not written this down also as a disclosure. I play by ear. I probably should write it down and I'm recording this so I probably can write it down and if I feel up for it later I will actually write it down in the comments in the description of this video of what numbers you're actually going to be hitting. All right so and that's your first note three four two four five 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 four. That's the I'm blue da ba dee da ba da. So, and then with the next part, so we go two, four, six, six sharp. And we repeat that other part, the two, four, five, 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 four, whatever. Five, five, four. Yeah, <laughs> too many fives. So, do that again. I'm 
going to screenshot this uh, so that I can also look at these screenshots later and be like, all right, this is exactly what's going on in this in this uh, thing in particular here in this song. So again, we'll start from the beginning on blue and then put it together. Repeat. Repeat one more time. Different. So two, four, then three, three, five, two. And then that's the end of your chorus. So it's pretty simple, sort of. <laughs> and if you want to do the intro, you're adding in that low six there. So you're going. And that takes a little bit of practice because you have to release that left arrow key so you're not sounding like this. See what the difference see what I'm saying there. Um, as a piano player, it, it kind of messes with the mind a little bit because I instinctively want to go lower with my um, with my pinky finger to hit that note, but I'm actually hitting it higher with my index finger when I hit the six. <laughs> so it's a little, little weird, um, but at least we have music in the game. So yay, it's a plus. So anyway, so we're going in the intro here. the difference in the melody uh, and the intro is that low six one two that right there is going to be um, another major difference now the intro is basically just the melody with a couple extra extra notes in there like that low c is added uh, sorry no c jesus listen to me low six <laughs> yeah six and c are the same word <laughs> don't mind me so once you get that down and you practice those notes um it's it comes a little bit, you know, just practice it. It will get a little easier for you. And again, it's just the melody with a couple extra notes. So that's the melody. And if you do the intro, So that three, three, five, two is also a big difference from that to uh, the chorus between the chorus and the intro. So that just kind of repeats, you know, if you're, if you know the words, you can kind of say them in your head while you're playing it to keep track of where you're going um, and how, how many times you repeat something. Uh, that's pretty basic. And then as far as the melody, like the, the verses, um, they're pretty simple as far as I know. I'm just going to wing it here. I have a blue house with a blue window would be this. It's just three and four. And then this is the six sharp, I think. Yep. So we go uh, six sharp, six natural there. And then natural, six, five. That's your, that's one of your verses, part of a verse there. And then we kind of repeats a little bit for the next part of that verse. Who is the feeling that lives inside me? There we go. And then you go back into the chorus.
so there, there you have it. That's basically it. Once you learn those three sections of the song, I think that's all, all there really is to that. Um, just, you know, you do your intro, and you do your melody, uh, the verses, and then you go into the chorus that I just did. So you're starting with the intro. melody. and then repeat the chorus. And there you have it. That is blue. Da ba dee da ba da. Hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for the request. And again, thank you, Termit, for the sub and support. And if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe. Share it if you want to teach other people this song. Um, yes, you could probably do chords in with it somehow. But the problem I'm having right now is preview is extremely laggy. And as far as playing with other musicians, as far as doing like duets, like say one person did like the bass line, one person did some chords and another person did the melody, you could potentially get a group together in game and it would be really, really cool. But right now there's like this major lag where what one person hears that they're accompanying somebody perfectly on the other person's end, they're lagging behind. Um, so it doesn't quite sync up very well. Um, my friend Asmir and I have tried it and, um, <laughs> like it doesn't quite work. So hopefully the dubs will fix that because I think that as far as like role playing and community and gathering together, um, and bonding over this, I think a lot of people could have a lot of fun. We could see a lot of bands forming in game, which would be really fun if we can get these music, uh, these instruments, um, to sync up on the server. I'm not a techie. I don't know what they'd have to do to fix that, but um, you can do a lot of a lot of really. There's a lot of potential here to do that if they fix that problem. So again, uh, thanks for watching. I very much appreciate it, and enjoy. Bye.